Hey there. So I started doing something new on Facebook and that is doing it carousel ads. So I had one of my business friends who reached out to me and she's like, Kate, you know, how are you doing these carousel ads? And so I thought I'd make this quick video to show you how to do carousel ads. Now let's go ahead and go on over to the screen. And if you're not familiar with what a carousel ad is, actually, let me show you what we're talking about here. So over here, there we go. Okay, so I think I'm sharing my screen now. And you can see on Facebook where I have this ad where it shows a shows a product and it shows another product and it's one product right after another. And each one of these clicks or each one of these links right here, it is going to click over to my website to that actual product page so that people can go and buy the product. So let me show you how to set this up. And we're gonna start by just how do you get to ads manager because ads manager is where we'll need to do this at. So I'm on my personal Facebook right here and I click on manage Manage ads. Now I happen to have a business account, so it's going to ask me to go to business manager and then go to one of my ad accounts, but I've already got that open up in this tab right here. And here's our ads manager. And we, a, a campaign or a Facebook ad is broken down into three sections. It's broken down into campaigns, ad sets, and ads. And I don't want to get too deep into all of this because there are, well, there's an entire course that I took to learn how to do this. I want to get to the part where we create the carousel ad. So I'm kind of going to zip through some of these other pieces. So for our campaign right here, our objective, we want to first do that. We want to choose our objective. I want people to convert. In other words, I want them to buy the thing. That's what I want them to do. And in here, we're going to name this um, conversions. Uh, I'm just going to call it conversions carousel ad. Let's see here, carousel test. Uh, well, carousel test. Here we go. All right. So this is this is just for our example piece right here. So we're going to continue. Now you can see we've moved on from campaign into the ad set into conversion. So our destination or our ad set name, we're just gonna call this carousel. As you do more of these ads, you'll want to name them and have some naming conventions. We can take a look at some of the things that I've been doing. But for this example, we're just gonna call this carousel. And our destination is a website. And the conversions, I do have the Facebook pixel installed on my website. That's an important piece. And if you need me to show you how to install a pixel, like on a big commerce site, I can do that in a separate video. And we want this to be purchased. So for our schedule and our now our budget and our schedule, and we can decide on a daily budget or a lifetime budget. So if we want to do a daily budget, maybe this is something we want to run continuously from you know now until whenever, until we decide to stop it. So I'm just gonna say like a daily budget of $5 and see how well that does. And I'm just gonna scroll down here. So the audience, this is an important piece, but I'm also going to skip over this pretty quickly as far as what audience we're gonna pick. Um, I'm gonna pick, let's see, used a saved audience or um, create it, let's go ahead and create a new audience, a new custom audience. And this could be people, let's say it's people that like our page, all right? So include any people who like, there is Crate Insider is who we're doing these for. This could be for anybody who is engaged with our page in the past 365 days. So I might call this audience CI Facebook 365. The, just that's just a crate insider Facebook engagement 365 I'm going to create that audience it also asks if I want to create a look-alike audience people that are very similar to those people and I'm going to go ahead and do that too and my audience is incredibly niche um, incredibly specific so I don't want it to be uh, right here is the audience size. You know, I could make it 10% you know, in common, but I really want that 1%. And that's still going to be a lot of people. So there we go. We've got our 
our audience, we've got our lookalike audience, and we could save this if we wanted to. And our next piece is automatic placements or manual placements. You know, Facebook does this every day, so I'm just gonna stick with the automatic placements. All right, so we're gonna move on. Now we've gone through the campaign and we've gone through the ad set. Now it's time to create the actual ad right here. We've finally gotten there. So um, here's the default name, but we're gonna say carousel and carousel conversions right here. Now I do have an Instagram account, so I'm going to select the Create Insider Instagram account in addition to the Create Insider Facebook page. And then now I'm going to create the ad. Now these are where you can do different types and we are going to do the carousel right here. Now you could do some automatic if you've got the Facebook shop installed, but I'm gonna show you manually how we do this. And now we've gotten finally to the ad creative. And this is where we're gonna start adding images and links right here. So on here, I wanna change this image. And I've got um, some pages up here too, so that I can get to those. But one of the products is, uh, let's see, where did it go? Is our, there we go, this is our Crate Insider. It happens to be our flat air filter base. That's the image I'm gonna include right there. And now we're seeing a preview on the right-hand side of our uh, of what we've got going on here so it just says great products or whatever but we want to call this our crate insider uh, flat air filter base and of course whatever your product is now it's up to you whether in this description area this is where you can decide if you're going to add a price and i'm going to go ahead and add the price and this is again just manual so 99.50 and then where do we want this to go now i don't want this to go just to my website i want it to go to the specific page on my website so they can buy that product and so here happens to be the page on my website and i'm going to copy this uh, link up at the top and then go back here and change that link now, I also don't want it to say learn more because this isn't about learning, this is about buying. So if I scroll down here, our call to action, we're gonna change that to shop now. Shop now, right there. So you can go ahead and just buy the thing. Um, now, if we wanna add a second slide or a second product, then right here is our second product and it doesn't show it quite as well. It's still just showing our first product, but we're gonna go ahead and select an image. And the other image, here we go. This is, this is one I've set up here. And you just, I just get these from my computer when I wanna do that. And this one happens to be, well, if I wanna even copy the exact thing right here, I'm just gonna copy the title of the page and then back to, whoops. I'm gonna close this so I'm not confused. And I'm gonna close this so I'm not confused. There we go. And, and there's the headline, which is going to be the name of the product. And this one is, we're gonna put the price in right here, $99. It just views it as text. And then here again, we're going to copy this link right here. Oops, control Z, control C, and go back here to, we'll close that one too and we're going to go back here to change that link so you can see this each has each one of these little carousel pieces we've got four parts of this we have the picture we have the title we have the price and then now we have the link that's going to be our shop now now it wants us to do a third one let's go ahead and uh we might have to do a little bit of searching on my website but let's see what we've got here's a cold air box for instance so we're going to add that I know what that's called, so I'm going to just type that in, cold air box, right here. And I think that is $69. We'll find out in a second because we will navigate to that page on my website. Oops. There we go. And now we wanna find this link right here. So we're gonna go back to my website and to air and fuel or air filters well it might be in here air filters it's in that section there we go there's our cold air box 69 dollars and i'm going to copy that link right here and now i've got that link copied now those are the three pieces i'm going to put on my carousel but what it's also going to ask us as we scroll down here is 
I like this. We've got some boxes to check here. And it says automatically show the best performing cards first. I think that's a great idea. So if we see that if Facebook notices that people are clicking on the second or the third image first, it'll start showing that as the primary image is the very first one. And then here's an add a card at the end with your page profile picture. And mine have, this is my page profile picture. And so it'll do that if we want to do that. And then when we get to the end here, oops, um, so the see more is going to be right to our website. And then um, I don't know how to use that. So um, enter the link you want to show on your last carousel card. Well, we're already doing that with our main URL and we're clicking on shop now. So it's going to track all of this. So that, that is our carousel ad right here. And we can look, that's the mobile news feed. We can look on Facebook. We can preview this, how this is going to look on the desktop news feed will look like this right here. Uh, we could see the instant articles, not sure what instant articles are, but it'll do that. Facebook in stream, um, it might, that's interesting. <laughs> Facebook in stream video. So this isn't a video, so it's not going to do that. Um, desktop right column is going to look like that. So you just go through each of these and you can see how it's going to show up. Like there's on the Instagram feed. That's interesting and see then it has multiple pictures. So it's automatically showing that to, um, it's automatically showing it to an audience that might be interested. And then now we can go on to the next piece and we can click on review. And here we go, our campaign is conversions carousel test. Our ad set name is carousel. It shows our audience right here, where, those, uh, where that ad's gonna be placed and then how much we wanna spend. And then I can go ahead and click on confirm right here. And then it actually, it's in draft, which is good because I didn't really want to publish it right this minute, or maybe it's going to be in review. But what will happen is after it's in draft and we turn it on, oh, it actually says that it's active. Here's our carousel. It's in review right now. But um, once it's in review, then at some point it'll become active and then you'll get a notification that it's active. So that's how you put together a conversions carousel ad right there on Facebook. So I hope that I hope that's really helpful for you and that is taking you step by step. If there are pieces of this that you'd like to learn more about or you'd like me to dive into a little bit deeper, I'm doing a lot of experimenting right now with ads like this to see what is the right audience and how my audience is gonna respond. And I feel really confident that it's been a really good strategy. I find that these ads, as a consumer, when I'm looking on Facebook, I find that these carousel ads are interesting to me and that they're not annoying like a lot of other ads are. So I'm hoping that my audience feels the same way. And again, I hope this is helpful for you. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, like it, share it, you know, hit the subscribe if we're over, uh, over on YouTube. And I will see you in another video.